Well, what is life like post-pandemic for a string of businesses along one of Chicago's most popular strips? The Little Village Chamber of Commerce introduced a new director this year to help roll out some of the programs, some of the projects available to the 500 businesses that call Little Village home. And joining us now to talk to us a little bit more about this, Yvette Trevino. There you see her. She is the executive director of the Little Village Chamber of Commerce. Always very nice to see you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. It's, it's great to, to be on Adelante. Thank you so much for the opportunity to connect with you and the viewers. And it's great to have you. Um, now, for folks that don't know you, perhaps, uh, you came into the Little Village Chamber of Commerce this year. So explain to them um, your connection to Little Village, what you'd like to see here moving forward in the next uh, few years. Sure, sure thing. Uh, so right in the middle of the pandemic, um, I decided to kind of switch focus and an opportunity presented itself to come lead the Little Village Chamber of Commerce. And I was just really thrilled to be able to work with small businesses. Um, I've been in the position for almost seven months, but I'm really excited to connect with the small businesses on the business corridor. As you mentioned, Little Village has over 500 businesses, about 100 of those businesses being restaurants who really need our support and our advocacy. Um, to be able to help them succeed and thrive, especially now through the pandemic. As you know, Little Village was one of the communities that was hit the hardest by COVID-19 rates. So being able to come in and provide that assistance, that one-on-one -on -one assistance to small businesses has been a challenge, but also very rewarding to help those businesses keep their doors open. Yeah. And the big question now becomes, how do we do that? You know, I remember at the start of this pandemic, uh, I was out in Little Village and they said that they thought at that time that about 30 percent of the businesses wouldn't make it, wouldn't reopen their doors. Are you noticing that trend or have things sort of slowly improved? What, what's the mood? What's the situation like out there right now? The small businesses in Little Village are extremely resilient. I mean, some of the stories that we've come across um, in just their, their values, their um, push to continue to keep their doors open, to keep their employees employed, is just ex extremely amazing. What we're focusing on right now, um, as you might have heard, um, Governor Pritzker just released the back to business grant, which the Little Village Chamber of Commerce is one of many partners that will be doing a lot of outreach in the next uh, weeks to get more Latino owned businesses and small minority owned businesses to apply for the grant. Uh, Little Village is a partner with the Illinois small business um, partnership as a spoke along with other organizations like the Southwest Collective, the Aurora Hispanic Ch uh, Chamber of Commerce, the Greater Waukegan Chamber, Logan Square, Puerto Rican Cultural Center, uh, Joliet, um, which uh, the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce serves as a hub, will conduct outreach in a very grassroots approach, talking to small businesses, walking different business corridors to ensure that uh, small businesses have access to the application and that there is no barriers uh, for small businesses to apply for this grant. Uh, the grant opens next week on Wednesday, and we actually will be sitting with clients and helping them apply. Yeah, and walk me through that process because you've got so many small businesses that maybe uh, right now are lacking in sort of tech expertise. Maybe they've never applied for a loan like this or a grant like this in the past. And I think sometimes that keeps them, you know, away and, and, and doesn't give them the, um, I think, uh, confidence to maybe come to you and ask for help. So uh, what would you tell them? What should they be doing? Yeah, so we are taking a one-on-one -on -one approach. We're meeting with small businesses one-on-one -on -one to go over their financials, go over the requirements for the grants. Uh, the grant does require your 2020 taxes, your 2019 taxes, um, and then we will walk you through the whole process. So language should not be a barrier. Technology most definitely should not be a barrier. And this is where you can lean on some of your assistance 
agencies to help you apply for this this kind of programming. Yeah, and I know that there's definitely a lot of agencies along Little Village that are wanting to offer that help. One of the cool things that you guys also have uh, coming up, and I know we've reported on in the past, is this Exquina Cafe. It's this incubator, not just for existing businesses, but for maybe entrepreneurs or um, potential entrepreneurs to come in and, and get excited about opening a business in Little Village. Yeah, so the Esquina project with COVID kind of put kind of a hold on a lot of the different projects. Um, the Esquina Cafe is brought to you by the Little Village Chamber of Commerce and the Little Village Community Foundation. And the idea would be to build sort of a small business incubator and create an ecosystem of small businesses that can come to the incubator to seek programming, technical assistance, access to technology, and most importantly, access to community and mentors that would be able to help them along their way with their businesses. Okay, uh, and is that off the ground already or no? It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. It's, it's, it's coming. It's, a work it's in, coming. Yes. It's coming. I know the pandemic has definitely uh, halted a lot of projects, and it has been a real stumbling block for a lot of communities. So uh, one last thing that I want to ask you, uh, the Mexican Independence Day Parade is always traditionally a very popular spot. I get to go out there every every now and then uh, and see everyone out there. Uh, is that, do, do we know, do we have a date? Is that going to be coming up this year, or uh, is that put off until maybe the following year? Yeah, so we are hoping to release an update by next week. Um, the parade brings in close to half a million yeah. of, uh, in attendance, which is something that we've been following COVID numbers, spike in numbers. And like I mentioned earlier, with just Little Village having such an increased number of COVID throughout, you know, several weeks, um, we just want to make sure that we put the health and well-being of our community first. Right. So we're hoping to have an update very soon. All right. We'll wait for that. Thank you so much, Yvette Trevino, the Little Village Chamber of Commerce, the new executive director there. We appreciate your time. Thank you.